Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I have our friend here with us, Freddy the Frog. Hi, guys. Great to see you. I miss you. I know, Freddy. With all this social distancing and being inside, we're not able to see the boys and girls like we usually do. But that's okay. We can still read books and have fun, can't we? Oh, yeah. There's still lots to do. I'm so excited about the book we're going to read today. Oh, good. Me too. Well, what's so exciting about the book that we're going to read today? It talks about going places. Oh, yeah. Well, we can't really go to too many places right now because we're supposed to be not going around people too much because of the COVID-19. But we don't have to be fearful of that. We just have to obey the rules and do the right things and make sure we're washing our hands and keeping distance. But once this is all done and over with, we'll be able to go places more, won't we? Oh, yeah. But in life in general, I know that every one of you are going to go someplace and you're going to go someplace special. You're going to do something great with your life. So we're going to read a book about the places that we're going to go. And I'm sure many of you have heard this book, but it can never be read too many times. It's a wonderful book. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. They're all your favorite, Freddie. Well, that's true. <laughs> Boo! Boo! You just love doing that with your eyes, don't you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you sit over here, Freddie. So you watch and you listen. We're gonna sit you right there and he's going to listen to the book I'm going to read you today. Now, if you hear anything in the background, like some parakeets, it's because you're attached to the parakeet cage. My phone actually is. It's attached to our parakeet cage and we have some parakeets and sometimes they like to get super social and so they'll be chirping like crazy. But this is called, Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you are too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll see great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in it for much fun. You're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite? 
or go around back and sneak in from behind. Simple it's not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused and you'll start in to race down long wiggled roads at a breaking neck pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or no or waiting for their hat, for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all the waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you'll do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something. You'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you won't want to go on. But on you will go through the weather, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the haken cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. And you'll get mixed up, of course. As you already know, you'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deaf and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name, so be your name, Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Oh, that's a good one. Going places, doing things. Oh, I love that. I know. And I think that the boys and girls listening, each one of you, you're going to do great, great things. So don't be down about having to stay at home or not being able to go to the park and play or all the things you can't do. Think about all the wonderful things that you can do and one day all the wonderful places you're going to go because you're going to do something wonderful, right? That's right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.